already in page 72 because we're just done with with communications right so now we will have compass okay can you tell what compass is lee uh, a compass is a simple instrument that helps people find their way around by showing directions it is usually round and contains a freely rotating much magnetic magnetic needle magnetic needle that always points north south this lets you walk out other directions okay thanks lee so when you think about compass yeah this is what really comes up in our mind when we mention about compass it's about what it's about showing directions yeah it's about showing directions so um if you want to go somewhere and then you want the compass for a guide for the direction that for sure it will lead you the way so there is a magnetic needle well anyway i will illustrate it here since we have the illustration here but what is the magnetic needle magnetic needle that's always point north south mm -hmm. so what what does the magnetic needle do um is that you walk out other yeah so you see here the magnetic needle okay so that's the one that 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 points to north or south or what direction that would be and this will show you two other direction okay but how to use this compass can you read lee um, how to use a compass when using a compass lay is flat and then turn is until the north and of the needle is above north down its base now you know which direction is north you can find the other direction mm -hmm. okay are you done lee oh uh, yes okay okay that's good so when you want to use the compass what is it lee you need to lay it uh is flat and then mm -hmm. turn is something or not okay so if you don't know how to use the compass properly then for sure it will not function properly so this tells us how to use the compass properly okay so we need to lay it flat turn it until the north end of the needle okay and it's above north in its base right okay so we will know the direction which that would be so that will be our guide since we want to know the direction so we have here the parts of the compass okay like for instance this one the direction hand okay so can you please read lee direction hand these hands can be turned to mark the directions that you want to travel to work okay so this is the direction hand and as the definition says tells okay so this is the hand that turned to mark the direction that you want to travel so that's really good because this will will um guide you okay that this is the direction that you need to go for your travel so that's the direction hand okay so it will tell you it will mark where you you need to go as for your direction and we have here the compass rose okay can you please read compass, me compass rose the base of the compass shows all the different directions and it's known as the compass rose yeah okay thanks lee so this is the the base of the compass why is it the base of the compass because uh, the because the um, compass shows all the different direction and is known as the compass okay so the compass rose is here okay so it's telling you about the directions the different directions okay so it's known as the compass rose 
So just like this. Okay, can you please read me? Okay. Directions can be Direction. Direction can be written as uh angels. Angels. Angles. Angles. For example, Southwest is two hundred and eighty five mm, degrees. Degrees. Okay. So directions can be written as angles. Okay, you need to take note of this that directions can be written as angles. Just just like this one. Um southwest is 225 degrees. So you can see it here. Okay, just this illustration. So you can write it using the angle. Okay, how about the walking compass? What do you mean by that? Walking compass. A walking compass has a see-through effect so that it can be used on top of the map. This lets you work out where you are and which direction you want to go in. Okay, so when you say walking compass, this um, has the what we call a see-through back, okay? That um, when you have this, it can be used on top of a map. Okay, so that's good. This will let you what? Work out where you are and? And which direction you want to go in. Okay, so this is very comfy and yeah, very helpful. You can just use it on top of a map and then you will be directed to the direction you want to go. Now we have here, okay, let's go up. Okay, directions. What do you mean by directions, Lee? Direction. The main directions are north, east, south, and west. They are called the cardinal directions. Okay. Okay. Cardinal directions. So what you see here, okay, um, the north, the west, okay, the south, southeast, okay, northeast. So these are what we called what? These are what we call uh, the cardinal directions. Yes, cardinal directions. And we have here, okay, this one. Ah, sorry, south, southwest, and northeast. They are not cardinal. They are not part of cardinal directions. Only the north, east, and south and west. So when it's already um, double, like northeast, okay join together southwest that is what we call finer directions can you please read lee finer directions between the four cardinal directions are more precise ones precise such as north uh, precise ones very good such as northeast and southwest Okay, okay, that's that's finer directions. Okay, so it's between the four cardinal directions. So when you say it's between, so like example, we have north, south, east, and west. So between that cardinal directions, okay, we have northeast, okay, or like this one, southeast, it's between, right? You see here, east, the south is here, and southeast is here in between. So that's what we call four cardinal directions. Example here, the north. This is the north. Okay, let me. Okay, and this is the north. Okay, and the east is here, and in between, the northeast. So north and east are cardinal directions. Well, the one in between is what? Uh, they between are what the, we call the they are called what? The uh, one in between the cardinal directions. Coast, south, southwest. Finer. And finer okay. direction. Yes, these are finer directions. Again, I will ask you, Lee, what do you call the north, south, east, and west? They are called what direction? Uh, uh, it's called finer. The north, um, east, no, south, and west. Uh, and it's called a part of cardinal okay. direction. Very good. How about the northeast, southwest? What do you call that? Southeast, they're called what? It's called finer directions. Very good. So finer directions are what? They are 
there between four cardinal directions. Very good. That's it. Always remember that. Okay, now we have here a needle. Okay, so what do you think is the function of this needle? B? Uh, needle. <clears throat> the magnetic needle detects Earth magnetic field and lights up with north south. The end of the needle pointing to north is usually colored or marked. Okay, so this is the needle. This is what we call the magnetic what? As uh, uh, the man magnetic needle. Very good, Lee. This is what we call the magnetic needle. So the function of the magnetic needle is it detects Earth's magnetic field. So it, it lines up with north and south. And on the end of the north, you see this one, this color here. These are um, what we call um, on the end of the needle. This is pointing to north and this is usually colored or marked. So this is this, this is a mark of the needle. This magnetic needle has a mark. It has a color like this one. The color is color green. OK. So that's the needle. Let's move to the compass. Compass on a phone. A, <clears throat> a compass on the phone shows which direction the phone is pointing in. OK, thank you, Lee. So. Um, in the first 21st century, OK, this is already the modern compass. Do you have compass in your phone? Ah, uh, yes. Yes, because Android phones, smartphones, right? iPhone, it, it already has a built in compass. OK, so you can use this. No need to buy a compass. You can use this. It's just um, easy access in your phone. OK, it shows which direction um you are in okay so this also has this um magnetic i uh, know um digital parts of a digital compass in this phone and then it points to the direction so can you please read referring to the compass on phone 21st century compass 21st, uh, 21st. 21st century 21st 10th century compass many of today's phones Container device called a magnet magnetometer. Mm -hmm. It detects the the Earth's magnetic field and lets you use for your phone as a compass. Okay, thank you so much, Lee. So this is um, what we had mentioned earlier about compass on the phone. So this is 21st century compass since we are already very high tech now. So many of today's phones, like, like what I mentioned, Android phones, now iPhones, phones in this generation, this contains a device called magnetometer. So what is the function of the magne magnetometer is what? Still the same with the, with the OK, Lee, can you please uh, um, tell? Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. uh, it detects the Earth's magnetic field. Mm. Okay, and so. Let you... Okay, so it detects um, the Earth's magnetic field. We have just um, read the needle, right? So it detects the Earth's magnetic field. And this 21st century compass, it also detects the Earth's magnetic field. So. It's a modern compass, the 21st century compass. So I will ask you, Lee, what do you think is better to use? This compass or the compass on a phone, this magnetometer? Mm, I think it's, it's a compass on the phone. Can you please tell me why? Uh, because it uh, is Mm, because it's more convenient. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's so good. Thank you so much, Lee. Now let's proceed to the next. Okay, so we will now head on to computers. Okay, so what do you mean by this? Computers, computers are machines 
that's more information and can be programmed to perform tasks. Many shows information on the screen, such as on a mobile phone or a laptop. Others are hidden inside objects to make them work. Okay, thank you, Lee. So, of course, computers are machines. And what are the function? It stores what? Store information. Okay. And can be? And can be programmed to perform tasks. Yeah. So this is very helpful. This is very essential for everyday life. So other people are using hidden inside objects to make computers work. So, but how how computers work okay so can you please read lee how computers work uh, computers are programmed in code to perform different tasks it is called software mm. the programs are stored and run by the parts or hardware of the computer okay so computers are programmed in what in uh, program in code to perform yes. different tasks. Very good. So that's what we call. Uh, we call software. Yeah, software. These are the programs um, in the computer. Okay, these are the different programs in the computer, different tasks. That is called the software. And how about the hardware? Can you please differentiate? Give me the difference between software and hardware, Lee. Um, the, uh, the software is um is a pro is a program mm -hmm. that it is programmed in how to perform different tasks. That's good, that's good. And Um, and how about the hardware? Hardware is the uh, I think the program uh, um as for mm. uh, run by mm. by the what? Yes. Okay, so that's so good. So if if the inner is the software, like inside the computer, the programs, the information, hardware is the outer part, okay? Like the parts of the computer, these are what we call hardware, okay? Thank you so much, Lee, for your explanation. That's good. So how about the battery? Battery. Computers need electricity to work. The battery provides and stores the electricity. Okay, so computers need electricity to work, and the battery provides and stores the electricity. So that's that's correct. That's the function of the battery. Now we also have here processor, motherboard, RAM and hard drive. Can you please read all of this, Lee? Um, processor. This part performs the calculations that make the computer work. Motherboard is connect everything so that different parts of the computer can communicate. Um, RAM. This part store information but only while the computer is switched on. Hard drive is stores information even when the computer is switched off. Okay, thank you so much, Lee. So we have here processor, motherboard, RAM, and hard drive. So the processor, this performs calculations, okay? So let me highlight this. Processor performs calculations, okay? And the motherboard, can you see the keyword here? Uh, this what? More disconnect everything. Okay, so disconnect so, everything. So what happened? Uh, so that different parts of uh, computer can communicate. 
Okay, that's why motherboard functions also very significantly because this connects everything so that different parts of the computer can function. How about the RAM? Can you see the keyword uh, here, Lee? RAM, uh, this pass store information. Okay, that's why um, having a large, um, how will I say this? Um, let's just say, having a large um, storage of RAM would really help. The computer has the larger um, storage, like it can store a lot of information, then that would be very helpful so that you can store a lot of information. So this um, is, uh, this is um, functional when you turn on the computer, okay? Because it's, it's also part of the program. So that's RAM. How about the hard drive? Do you see the keyword here, Lee? Hard drive it is store information. Even uh, when the computer is switched off. Yes. So the RAM stores information when it's turned on because the files are there. You need to turn on the computer. But in the hard drive, okay. So just like this one, okay. This is the hard drive. So the the informations are already stored in the hard drive okay so even though the computer is off the informations are all stored there in the hard drive so how we use computers lee and computers are found inside many everyday objects computers let let us program these machines to perform specific tasks Okay, so computers are very helpful in our everyday life, like what I mentioned earlier, because this helps us perform specific tasks. Okay, imagine what will the world be if there's no computers? It would be hard for us to do our work, okay, stuff in school, and any other important documents. Then how about traffic lights? How, how is this connected with computers? Computers control when the lights change color. Okay, so now you see the function of computer here. The one that controls the light that changes its color is the computer, right, Lee? How about the video games? Video games. Games consoles are computers that let you play games on a television screen. Yeah, okay. So in video games, um, how come this is connected to computers? Game consoles are computers. Okay, so when you play the games on a television screen, these are um, actually computers still. Okay, so how about industrial robot? Industrial robot. Computers tell big machines what to do. Often the same, same things over and over. Okay, okay, thank you, Lee. So industrial robot, of course, this is run by, this is computer because it, industrial robots are run by computers. Computers, um, it says here that what? It tell big machines what to do. What to do, uh, often the same things over mm -hmm. and okay. over again. That's true. So it's run by computer and the industrial robot is controlled there and there are already the, um things that is recorded there that the robots are just actually doing over and over again it's already recorded in the computer so that's it do you have some questions lee i'm sorry but it's already time if you have some questions well, then we can address it okay thank you so much lee i hope you have a great night bye bye thank you have a good night bye bye have a good night bye bye